Hi Star Wars fans and welcome to the channel. On today's video it's going to be a vehicle review. Look at this thing. Awesome. Had this a long time ago. Now I'm back in my collection. I can't wait to get it out of the box. And of course, won't be any same without some extra figures. Look at these two. Cool. <laughs> so if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe and enjoy the video. Well, here we go, the Republic gunship. At last, I've got one again in my collection. Oh, I've been dying to get this guy back, and it's a big vehicle with those wings. <laughs> but there, this is from the Attack of the Clones. This was the first issue of the uh, of the gunship, I'm sure of it, yeah, definitely. And it sort of harks back to the actual images from the film. It's great, you've got all these rotating turrets, canopy, you can put the uh, vehicle in it. You can actually put a speeder bike in the back. You have to pop the doors. There's a little uh, tray made here, or you can slot the vehicle in. The base drops out for the figures. Comes with loads of cannons, rockets. Awesome vehicle. Okay, let's unbox this beauty. So I don't even know what the condition is. Like I think all of it is still bagged, so. Let me see if we can get it out of the box. Oh, I've ripped a bit already. So that's the that's the wings. Look at that. Look at that. Still sealed in the bag. Awesome. Because these things do go yellow, I think. By you know, they have known to go yellow. But wow. Still in pretty good colour. Just do it it's sort of like, you know, do I preserve it and keep it in the box? But this is one vehicle I've always wanted to actually get out and again and just display. And uh, I blame uh, Nick, only one Kenobi for this. <laughs> Watching his videos on his vehicles, you just want to get them out, don't you? And enjoy them. And I've got to say a big thank you to my mate Julian again, who found this at a Comic Con for a brilliant price. And uh, yeah, I've been dying to get it. All the ones I've seen have just been out of the box and always missing bits. And just to find one complete is great. And just uh, to put it together now. So, thanks again, mate. Thanks again. So, that's the instructions there. Look, the stickers are still never been touched. I think I'll leave the stickers on the actual thing, probably. I won't bother that too much. But yeah, look at this. Look at this, all sealed. So now I'm gonna have to get the scissors out and cut all these wires. I'm gonna be here a while. Right, let's start getting this thing undone. I think I was gonna cut it, but I think I'll be all right doing this. <clears throat> These aren't being tied up that. There we go. Canopy. Oh, it's the canopy. Um. Oh, there's the wing. Kind of. All the rockets. These are always go missing, don't they? So, there we go. I'm done. <coughs> more, more to do. <laughs> I'm always going to cut them, but I'll just. Side plates. And a cannon. Let's cut the top. No more. That's it. Alrighty. There's the canopy on. That was a little bit <laughs> fun trying to squeeze it into there. So. <laughs> Because you, you know, I mean, this is old, this plastic now. Right. I 
got the doors to fit on so these have got like so you got clips here so I'm guessing they go on like that there we go spin that around there we go Let's see if they actually close look at that excellent <laughs> brilliant okay next we've got a big wing okay here we go so i'm sure you just push this there we go it's ginormous isn't it with those on <laughs> that's just one wing on got the next wing just click this in there we go locks in uh, starting to look like a gunship now okay now we got the gun turrets to go on top I think they're locked in yeah I forgot how cool this is <laughs> so that button there that dip that pushes and releases the uh, side wings got the base plate to put in didn't realize it was so it got silver there so yeah I'm guessing it must slot in from the there we go oh I forgot how heavy this is. This is quite a hefty thing. Look at that. So now I've got all the uh, all the missiles and bits. I'm sure these these two these go must go in here somewhere. Yeah, it's locked in. And. We've got different size rockets so we've got the all the rockets underneath the wing and of course you've got these two as well these are kind of crafty these ones they saw so you're like where do these go and they kind of hide behind the well as you can see I've fitted the seat the rockets they go inside there I tried it was so fiddly so i've just had to show you them fitted <laughs> well that's it now that's it all put together so what we got next we've got some clones to put in and get these little guns as well because these turret guns go on the side i mean they're not very big but for the scale of the uh of the ship they, they're okay but they're just great but these are extremely hard to get hold of now really hard people want 40 to 50 quid for these and luckily i won one on ebay for about 20 pounds and this one i paid about 20 i knocked the guy down and they they will come in nice cases and i'm like no i just want to rip them out and put them in so uh, i mean i could have found clone pilots on their own loose and you and use them but i wanted these these things i could have made something probably to go in there i think and i've been thinking about a custom thing I could put but that might be a future project but yes right let's get these out okay let's do the deed <laughs> look nice don't they look nice Oh dear. Let's get this clone out. Doesn't want to come out very easily. There we go. There we go. It's got his weapon in there. So yeah, it's a pretty simple thing. I can see you put the handle on the top, 
for what you can do. <coughs> there are pegs, there are pegs on the side, the slot, so these slot into these and then they sort of, so you can push it around and then have them hanging out. I'll show you when it's done. Okay, here's the clone pilot. Hmm. You forget these are five POA, so there's no bendy legs, no, oh, that's it. So they're, 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 they've got to do what they got to do. So you got to try and squeeze these inside the, inside the flight deck, which is not easy. <laughs> right, let's get these in. He's in there. We can get the next one in. It's fitting all right. I like that. They've got the uh, headrests. Just great. That just stops the keeps them in nice and snug. So look at that. You can have them looking, looking at that way. <coughs> now let's see if they actually fit. Oh. Oh, excellent, look at that, so yeah, excellent. They're in, they're in, excellent. So yeah, as you can see, these are quite small compared to like the vintage collection one. Well, they do finish the finish the actual vehicle off. It's, it's a shame, isn't it? Why didn't they just, why didn't they just add them? Well, they're crafty, and they, by just putting them with some more figures. So you're supposed to have another two pilots stood there with guns Oh, that's crazy in it why don't they just make them a little bit bigger maybe as big as the as the balls here just don't know don't know but it looks better now when you see it just just gives it some extra i think definitely missing them well the, with the newer versions they had doors here and all sorts well here you go all done put together all loaded up locked ready to fire get into battle <laughs> i'm really chuffed with it yeah, I'm glad I picked one up and got one again. It's just, it's. Just, I know they they take up so much room now. I, I'm just going to wonder where am I going to put this in my room? <laughs> it, but it's a cool looking vehicle, and it? it's sort of it's one of the key vehicles from well from Attack of the Clones. You always remember this vehicle from the, and it's Clone Wars. It's one of the main vehicles. I mean, color is it's changed and stuff, but. Yes, very tempting to weather it with all this lovely detail on here. It really would stand out on it, but I think this one's going to stay as it is for a while. But he's nice and clean, and if he does start going yellow, then maybe it will be time to weather it. But yeah, so you've got all the grappling bits, you've got the cannon, you've got your pop out side panels, you've got the mini guns now, we have got the two cannons that pop out, two pilots weapons as well they all fire the cannons fire on the, on the newer ones you could actually see where you could actually load i think on the new ones you could actually load more fire projectiles in the top i think so they sort of improved that but otherwise i think all i'm going to need now is probably to fit some uh, clone troopers and a jedi of some sort inside ready for battle Maybe a mace, I don't know, mace windu and some clones. I'm not sure. Yoda, maybe a little Yoda and some clones. Yeah, I'll come up with something. But yeah, a future project to gradually build a little army inside there. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed my little build. <coughs> it's the first time I've done that for a long time. Yeah, usually just review, say figures and stuff. Well, I just want to say a big thank you for watching my uh, gunship build and review <laughs> yeah just want to say a big thank you to all my subscribers my patrons and my channel members i thank you guys for all your support it really does help leave some great comments leave some likes and i'll hopefully see you on the next video because as you can tell by my voice it's very croaky and i've not done a video for a couple of weeks i've been pretty ill i'm still not very good i think everyone's had a bit of this sore throat stuff that's going around but I hopefully will do another video soon. Okay, guys, catch you on the next video. Bye.